In this tutorial, we will use a survey type tool to front load vocabulary to prepare students to read. Among the various tools available, we chose to use WooClap since it has many features to engage students, and it's a free tool for teachers when they create an account. You can find the link to create a teacher's account in the video's description. What is front loading vocabulary? It's a teaching strategy that involves introducing and teaching the meaning of vocabulary the teacher feels may cause a comprehension break before they are introduced to a text or a topic. Let's say that the topic of your next unit is traveling. This example uses words taken out of a text that students will read. To get ready, you need to prepare a folder on your computer desktop with an image to represent each word students will work on. We suggest you use a site like Pixabay to find copyright-free images. Once connected in WooClap, the first step is to create a new event and add a title. It's now time to add interactive activities. To front load vocabulary, you need to use two types of activities, the poll and the slide. Start with creating a poll activity. Write the word and statements. For example, the first word is binoculars. The statements are, I don't know the word. I have seen the word, but I don't know what it means. I know the word. Then, create the next interactivity as a slide and integrate the image you previously selected to represent the word. Next, add another slide and present the word, the picture, with examples of sentences that use the word in context. In this example, these sentences could help students understand the meaning of the word binoculars. Repeat the steps for each word that you want to present to students. Save time by using the duplicate option found in the three dots at the end of the question title. As an optional activity, you could use the Find on Image question. To do so, create one image with all the images used during the lesson. Insert the image. Write a word students need to find and add a zone over the image associated with it. Repeat the steps for each word. Your activity is ready. Now here's how to use this activity with students in class. You need to provide the participation link or code to students with Teams, Google Classroom, or any other way you usually share information with your students. Note that you can change the code to reflect the name of the activity. It makes it easier to share. The sharing options can be found when we click on the Display button. When students join the activity on their device, they see a message that tells them to wait until the vote starts. When you're ready, click on the arrow on the right to display a question on the students' devices. Students can answer individually or discuss in teams. Their answers can give you an idea if the word is known and help engage in a class discussion. This front-loading activity can be done with other digital tools whenever you feel new words need to be understood before starting to read a text or to work on a topic. 